Hello Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well I've just heard, at, heard about the Great Wall of Echuca. Basically there's a town called Echuca. It is about to be flooded because um, we've just had a week of flooding and now we're going to have more flooding this week so we're going to have more rain. And at least these towns, these people actually have some time to repair. Unfortunately they're making the wrong decisions. Um, the Council of Echuca, they've had years, they've had years literally to, to sort out a levy um, and they've decided to do it now because you know, all of a sudden they have to do it because they didn't prepare and they've just randomly decided on a route for this levy that cuts off hundreds of homes and hundreds and hundreds of people are going to be flooded and basically th there's a map and you can see that the bulk of the town is protected but um, there's little sections just on the edges of the town that they've just cut, just cut straight through it and they basically said, well, you on this side, you get to keep your house, you matter. You on this side, no, you don't, you don't matter. We're just going to let you flood. Now, is it just me or is, is, is it the smart thing to do if you have a river to put the levee by the river? so the water doesn't get out of the river, not just pick some random place inland to, to make a levee where anything in between the river and there is going to be flooded. And yes, you, you protect the bulk of the town, but it's just ridiculous. And these people, I mean, class action, I mean, at the end of the day, these people will be probably better off because they will be able to sue the hell out of this council and get more money than they probably would have been able to get for a house um, and buy a nicer house somewhere else that's not going to flood and forget about this town and let them you know keep flooding and keep dealing with their levy because I mean if the levy's you know only <laughs> a few centimeters um, too short if the water level rises a bit more they're all going to be flooded anyway I mean I wouldn't you couldn't pay me to live in one of these flood areas but um, these people have worked they've, they've bought the houses and now they're being told by the council well you don't matter we're going to protect your neighbor we're going to protect the bulk of the people but not you just because we've just picked a random um line to to, to run this um levy through uh, it's just shocking and um i only know the information i've gotten from a couple of news articles um but i mean it's just ridiculous you you don't you, the idea of just saying to the community, well, majority, yep, we'll get you, and the rest, you just drown, basically. I mean, it's, it's what's happening to our country? What, 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 what I mean, between the you-know-what um, and the risk, dropping the restrictions and letting the people with vulnerabilities just, you know, face it alone with, <laughs> with no help, and, and now we've got councils putting in levies that protect most of the community but leave other people out to, to, to go under the water it's just what the I mean, what the hell i mean i just had to do a video about this because i'm like i need some youtube therapy because i'm like i'm losing faith in in australian society um and people in general because we seem to just be really happy to sacrifice the minority for the majority uh, whatever happened to the little aussie battler seriously i mean have we lost our identities, Australians, that we just, it's just about money now. It's just about, I just, I just, I just can't. I just, as much as I, in the, as much as, much as I, I don't understand people who would build and buy in areas that are, have maybe flooded once or, up, but, you know, as much as I don't understand that, the idea that you would protect a town full of people who made that decision and then just let others just, go underwater I just don't understand I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I'm just saying the same thing over and over again because I mean what else what more is there to say this, this council is just this is horrible it's like you're either on the right side or the wrong side the majority of town is on the right side and the rest of them are on the wrong side uh, hundreds of houses hundreds of people hundreds of lives ruined just because the council decided to take a random path and not go around the whole town and protect everyone or go along the river and make sure the river water never gets into the town. I mean, apparently they had a little meeting. Uh, they invited people there and they basically just told them what they were doing. Um, 
they answered five questions or they were, they were uh, they took five questions they answered I think two of them and the rest were just like oh we can't answer that and then they just left and that's it and just left the the, the people that they just you know were told basically yeah you're you're losing your house and your livelihood now you you're, you're going to have to like buy another house basically so you know have a whole another life of working and buy buy a house but um, hopefully they will be able to do a class action and sue these people and get, you know, enough money to buy a house somewhere else.